okay okay now come to here so this is our application now so if any end user send request request to go to this website and uh, we are getting whatever you want to handle suppose if i get uh, so 7000 request is it a handle what the what ganesh no is it handle no right but how these people are maintaining how these people are handling festival season right so if they given any offer for example flipkart people they given a 50 50 percent offer a 30 percent offer many people hitting this website and request is more right correct how these people are handling so that is the reason in real time what these people are these people are maintaining uh, multiple servers so these people are maintaining multiple servers so these people are maintaining multiple servers so these people are maintaining multiple servers so this is also same configuration this is also same configuration this is also same configuration same application they deployed this is also same configuration same setup so don't confuse same configuration same setup now so here also same configuration right now if we send my request if i send my request maybe based on this usage maybe this server handling multiple request might be your request go to this server i hope you understand right if nenu request send chesanu i don't know my request go to which server so maybe my request go to this server or maybe my request go to this server which server is also low uh, low you know right load ante naake a server ko the load takku untundo automatically my my request go to that server this is a final concept distribute your incoming request to multiple servers now see here what is that so automatically distribute incoming traffic to multiple targets this point you need to remember so what is a uh, what is load balancing load means uh, i want to load my balancing i want to load my so i want to load my uh, request how to manage <laughs> see here automatically distribute to incoming traffic to multiple targets this is one target mission this is one target mission this is also one target server this is one target mission or target both are same or guys our virtual mission vm this is one virtual mission so this is also one virtual mission so background they are maintaining like this only they are also implementing same concept but they are maintaining their apis like this so if we send any request a request might be goes to this server or maybe this server without downtime correct so if 7000 request it, 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 this server cannot handle this server not handle is only 5000 request but my uh, so end users uh, so 7000 request coming it cannot handle right automatically your request go to another server i hope you understand right very very important real time also as well as interview also most of 99% people are asking what is the elb elastic load balance did you use a elb okay how it will work guys first you need to understand definition see here so automatically distributes incoming traffic to multiple target machines or multiple vm machines this is the whole concept this is the whole concept anyone any doubt as of now yes. clear if it is clear i will show a high level overview how it will work hello this is clear or not yes sir clear now interval so so uh, so now one more thing understand నేను ఎలా ఇస్తున్నాను సో డబ్ల్యూడబ్ల్యూ సో ఫ్లిప్కార్ట్ డాట్ కామ్ ఇచ్చినాను సో సింపుల్గా మనం యూఆర్ఎల్ ఇచ్చేసి వీఆర్ గెటింగ్ దిస్ పేజ్ బట్ ఇంటర్నల్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ దర్ ఈస్ మల్టిపుల్ స్టెప్స్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ హియర్ సో వన్ ఆర్ టూ పీపుల్ ఆస్క్ దట్ స్టెప్స్ ఆల్సో హౌ ఇట్ విల్ వర్క్ మనం ఏం సింపుల్గా ఇలా ఇస్తున్నాం యూఆర్ గెటింగ్ దిస్ పేజ్ బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇంటర్నల్ లాజిక్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇంటర్నల్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ హౌ ఇట్ విల్ వర్క్ నా విల్ సీ హియర్ సి నా క్లిక్ ఆన్ హియర్ డౌన్ సెవ్ so i am the end user right i am the user i am the end user for example just as him uh, here i am going to do so i am the i am the end user so here i am the end user okay so i am the end user 
so for example just as a uh, uh, sorry so i am the end user so for example just as a uh, for example what is this why it is not working uh, for example this is the this is the laptop or desktop anything just as a uh, he is the shiva shiva is in front of laptop okay so i am the end user just assume i am sitting a front of laptop he is sitting that website so seva is sitting front of laptop he is sitting that website so he is sitting that website how it will work finally you know so your incoming request distribute to multiple servers right so this is my host right so every mission we have some host or ip address right every mission we have some host or ip address without ip address is there any host mission at least ip lakanda edana mission untunda first question yes or no hmm? without no. no right 100% so without uh, host name without ip there is no host this is the host name or uh, so this is the simply we are calling domain name domain name or host name anything or ip address both are same only so whether we have uh, so this is the this is the ip address this is the uh, so shiva mission ip address this is ip address how i know my mission ip address so how i know your mission ip address if you go here cmd <coughs> If you go here, CMD, if you type uh, IP config, so this is my IP, right? Correct? Uh? Yes or no? This is my IP. So every mission have uh, so one IP address. This is my IP address. This is my IP address. So every mission, not only my mission. So your mission, any old wise, if you go anywhere, so each and every mission has some IP address. Now in my mission, I am typing. This is the so browser, right? Just as a uh, so i am the shiva is sitting the browser he is sitting the browser so he is uh, sitting in laptop and he is hitting that website anything so this is the browser so this is the browser if we send any if we hit that url how it will gone so generally if we hit that url internally there is some steps so this is the internal hierarchy try to understand so we can this is very useful how it will work for example so now if you go here so it will go to incoming request it will go to incoming request right it will go to incoming and i'll say me we are getting also response also we are getting also response right so we are also getting also response so now every mission has a you know right so we are sending request and we are getting response also response means so if you hit this url if you hit this level, we are getting this page, right? This is the response. <coughs> if you get error page, that is not working. If you get error page, uh, so that is uh, that is not working. So that is a uh, that is uh, so not working. Correct. See, not change. Okay. Now, if you send like this, uh, now each mission, uh, so there is we can see some local DNS. In our mission, we can also see this file. Every mission, we can see there is a local DNS. So we can see there is a one uh, so local DNS. This this is the path etc. Uh, somewhere we can see this is the etc. Uh, some host like this. This is the path host. So this is simply calling a local DNS name or local DNS IP address. This is our uh, so our local mission. Our local so DNS. DNS uh, so domain domain name server DNS uh, IP. This is the IP address. So simply we are calling uh, so local DNS IP. Now if you want to, we can see this. You know where is this etc host, right? We can see this path. So my computer. If you go here and if you go to system 32, system 32, system 32, system 32 under system 32 somewhere we can see. Uh, drivers under etc under host this is the path guys every mission has this file if you want to we can go check your mission also this
this is the path simply i given uh, so etc host file this is your local dns what is this file contain anyone if you anytime if you open see here this file has some ip address see here this pass has an ip local dns local host name so this is the ip address your mission ip address so whatever you want we can configure here see here this is a sample host file used to microsoft tcp ip address windows so whatever you want we can check it here see here 172.0.0. kubernetes here i added something this is the default one this is the default one every mission has this file without this file we cannot see the operating system also okay okay now if we send this now i'm in my mission in my mission i am sitting seva in my mission he is the end something and the request go to so somewhere right how it will go it will go to like this so the request go to uh like this how it will go it will go and find some ip address right so it will it will go and find uh, so some ip address it is jumping okay now so if you hit this url if you hit this url so if it my mouse is not working properly okay leave it so if you hit this url so now it is try to find the so local dns if you try to find the local dns simply i am using this one very simple right so it is find the so local dns it is try to find the uh, root name server that is nothing but uh, so root name server uh, it is like uh, internally this and all we cannot see this is the internal hierarchy if you understand very useful so there is a root name root name server later we'll see root name server it will go to root name server so root name server means uh, so you are hitting some uh, link right which one you are typing www.flipkart.com this is nothing but root name server so root name server means whether it is dot com dot in iot how it is identify same like this only so root name server means maybe dot com tell me some root name servers dot com next dot in next dot co dot in we are typing different way right dot org now got it so these are the root name servers which server you are hitting so here i am hitting which server which root name server dot com or dot co dot in here here i am giving one right so real time we can use many links dot org we can see and dot co dot in yahoo mail they are using co dot in there are many ways right so this is nothing but root root name server now so from this root name server it is identifying the so top level domain again it is trying to identify the which is your top name this is root name okay now it is our uh, so uh, top level domain top level domain means uh, that is simply this this many ways uh, we can uh, send but finally i am sending uh, so calm right this is nothing but top level domain this is the internal hierarchy this is the top level this is the top level top level also domain so here i am typing uh, so which one calm only whether we can type uh, calm dot co calm dot in dot anything whatever you want so anyway here i entered uh, so dot com okay now okay it is identifying the dot com now so now top uh, identifying now we are typing where it is typing we are internet only right browser only right so this is the internet so just assume uh, this is the internet finally we are in uh, internet so finally this is the internet so in browser we are typing if you type anything like this it will come like this only it is working like this only okay. now from this and it is finding the it is find it is uh, so try to identify the so one more thing uh, what that is finding means uh, so from internet i type dot com right so here it is finding like uh, some uh, what is that called uh, some name servers it is trying to find the name server here we can see some name servers this and all internal only we will see later just try to understand this is the name server so this is the name server from name server it is uh, 
try it is go to sop start of authentication if you want to understand it will take time but initial uh, just try to understand how it will work okay so now it is come to soa this is simply we are calling uh, s soa start of authentication this and all domain related names and all we will see later i will show you now here they are mentioning actually our domain name i am using google right i am using google pe google people they are mentioning only one server or multiple servers anyone at least guess it they are mentioning only one server or multiple servers multiple uh, they are mentioning multiple right so just assume and uh, this is the one server this is one server google means many people they are eating right so here uh, we are mentioning one firewall authentication and all just i will give uh, so one high level only just try to understand this is the firewall firewall and security purpose uh, we are using right so here we are using whether we are using a http link https uh, or it is coming http or it is coming uh, something so if you see here uh, my request coming uh, which way http or https if you see here this is the https my request coming to https based on this now your request i, I am the end user right so end user means uh, so directly it in uh, from coming to so here only sorry there is there is one i think uh, so okay now if you request uh, it will come to here so now request will come to here only but internally it is happening these things my request come to here so http or https anyway https it is coming from this uh, here they are maintaining some servers right so this is the same servers only they are maintaining google servers i am sending some request right this is just assume a web server this is the web server this is also one web server this is also one web server this is also one web server so my request go to any one server i am not saying 100% my request go to particular server that is right uh, what is elb elb means also uh, any uh, distributed income request to here we are using elb elastic load balancer elb so if you use elb so here only there is elb will come elb elb elastic load balancer and based on this a request will distribute to so that particular server which server you want whether your request go to this server i don't know so maybe your server based on your uh, bandwidth based on your uh, so that server busy a request distribute to so any server this is the whole hierarchy anyway just high level i given just try to understand how it will work so if any user send your request okay suppose if you type flipkart.com that flipkart people they are meaning many servers so i am the end user if you send any request and it will go to elb from elb a request go to distribute to any one server whether your request go to this server or whether your request go to this server or whether your request go to this server now we know right port numbers so https means what is the port number in uh, so we see right http https means what is the port number 443 right HTTP. If you request HTTP, means 80. What is SSS port number? 22. Clear. Even one can tell. So if you go here, if you go here, if you go here, what is security group? If you go security group, so if you click on any security group, if you click on inbound rules, already you know. So here already all port numbers available. Root add. See here. These are the port numbers. If you don't know anything, just click on HTTPS. What is the port number? 443. Suppose if I select HTTP, only HTTP. So SSH. What is the port number? 22. For example, if I select RDS. Uh, for example, database, right? RDS. Where is RDS? MySQL. See here. What is the port number? 1433. So what is rdp port number double three eight nine so like this uh, so based on this we are allowing specific port numbers only in real time so these are the port numbers guys these are the port numbers so these are the port numbers we can understand 
so this is also we need to understand as a devops engineer http what is the port number 80 https 443 ssh 22 and if you are using any db so these are the sum of port numbers in real time we are allowing only these port numbers only we are allowing uh, so this port numbers and all now final understanding uh, so if you browser if you send any request uh, first it will go to your local dns uh, your local machine from that it will go to it will identifying the na root name server from root name server it is finding the top level domain and which domain we are entering this is the internet from internet it is go to find the name server and name server it is find the start of authentication from start of authentication it will go to your so this here again they are maintaining some firewall they are maintaining some elb from elb your request distributed to multiple servers okay. this is high level if you want to understand anyway coming classes we'll see same how it will work so finally what you understand what is elb elb is meet to meet uh, so elb is nothing but distribute automatically distribute your incoming request to multiple target machines that last one this concept only this is the elb they are maintaining elb so if you send any request the request distribute your incoming request to multiple servers based on your uses based on that server uh, load <laughs> clear guys what asis ganesh clear shiva yes sir so this is the very very important internally how it will work but this and all we cannot see guys this and all we cannot see this is the configuration only physically we cannot see how it will go and all this is the only configuration anyway next class we will see how it will work okay so very very important simply just if you want to understand this is a very simple definition incoming automatically distribute incoming request to multiple host machines that is nothing but multiple host servers so same like this same like this so practically next class i will show you how it will work so anyone any doubt